KNF sent me their ND2 to 32 variable filter, which is great because I already went and bought their ND8 to 128, which I've done a review on. And this is fantastic, especially if you're going outdoors and doing really bright shoots and things like that. But I did want something more versatile. So the 2 to 32 is brilliant. And they also sent me a new CPL filter and all of these are in size 82. Anyway, the CPL that they sent me, I only just tried it earlier today and it was amazing. I'm blown away by this. This is great. I think this is my new favorite CPL filter, but more on that later. Anyway, I won't even goof off that much in this video. So let's just jump straight into it, shall we? G'day folks, Phil Irwin here. When I'm out in the field, filming massive weddings in Sydney, the last thing I want is to be tied down with lots of filters. That's why I got this little baby, this beauty right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's the ND2 to 32. Now ND2 to 32 is the perfect all day filter. Like, I'll never even have to take it off. So it's perfect for using with my 24105 all day. If it was anything darker, you'd be taking it on and off all the time. You might miss shots, right? But the two to 32, and this one here is just a little baby still. It's still in its mother's pouch. Whoa, 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 whoa. In fact, let's have a little peek in, shall we? Let's have a look at him, say hello. G'day. G'day, mate. He's a walking little baby. Oh, oh. oh! Anyway, check it out. The ND2 to 32. Okay, so we'll go outside and we'll do a couple of real world tests. We'll test both the ND2 to 32 and compare it to the 8 and 28. And also, we'll finish with the CPL filter. Firstly, we have the ND2 to 32. The camera we're using has active stabilization enabled. And you can see that when you pan a camera around, you get that weird wiggly jiggly thing. Wait, who are you? My name's Kai. This is my video, what are, you, what are you trying to do? I'm just here to speed things up a little bit. But you can't even talk properly. Yes, I can. Oh, really? Say, camera. Kawa. No, camera. Kawa. Oh, Kawa. Kawa. Oh, go and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Okay, now this is the ND8 to 128. And see how the sky is responding to different orientations of the polarized front element, especially those lower clouds. And no, that's not vignetting, that's a polarized sky. But we'll pan the camera around and we'll look for vignetting in the edges anyway. And it looks good to me. But you see how the orientation of the front element causes the clouds and the sky to look quite different in an otherwise identical shot like this one. This is the ND8 for both side by side. And the polarizing effect is most noticeable if I spin it from eight to 16, at least in this shot anyway. And we'll point the camera the other way now and we'll see which filter looks best. And we've turned off active stave. And the sky looks really nice here, hey? And we'll also pan around at the max depth of 128. And wow, this filter really makes the sky really punchy, doesn't it? It's nice. 
And now the ND2 to 32. Whoa, that looks even better. The sky's even more punchy. It's punchier. And is it the luck of the draw of the orientation of the front element? It's like it's just at that right magic spot. I think so. And it's blocking out, you know, the unwanted reflected light in the atmosphere. We'll pan around, we'll look for vignetting in the corners again. I don't see any. That looks really nice. ND2 to 32 for the win. Alright, lastly, let's look at both of them at ND8 again, side by side. And this time I think the winner is the ND2 to 32. I've had to make that shot a bit darker and a bit more, or a bit less green to match the other ND8 to 128 in that shot. Actually, while the sun is out quickly, I want to talk about, since a variable ND is what, like two polarised filters stacked together, you will get polarisation of light. So you look at the road there, and you might like that look. The trees can have the same effect and you can punch the blue through the sky a bit more and block some of the scattered light and get more of the parallel light and then you get clean sky, right? Like sunnies on, polarised sunnies. The only problem is, obviously you can control the density, the, the, how much light's being cut, but you can't control the polarity because you're just spinning this, could, be, could end up anywhere. Which is why the two filters won't look the same at the same ND value, like at ND8. So we've switched to the normal CPL. We're on the Nano X MRC CPL 82 millimeter with a little bit of a step up ring from my 24105 77 millimeter filter thread. Now this one, you can control the polarity. So what I like to do is either cut the reflectance off like a road or the water. Depends on what you want, of course. But also the sky, look at the trees in the sky change. This is beautiful, this is a bit clearer, I can tell already. But now we're stuck on one density, it's like similar to ND2, since we're cutting half the light out. If I compare the KNF CPL to my Tiffin CPL, I can actually see that the KNF is a bit warmer, and also a bit brighter. To get the same metering on the A7S III, I had to drop the ISO down a bit, down to 125. That's right my friends. Do not adjust your TV. Do not adjust your monitor. You are witnessing a vlogging test. Now, I know what you're thinking. You prefer the other guy when it comes to vlogging. But listen here, listen here, buddy. What are you gonna do if he's like taking too long to upload a video? What are you gonna do? You don't have to like just one guy. And what I'm doing is I'm testing out Will it vignette? And I don't think you see it in this combo. And the reason why that is cool is this is a stacked setup. So I'm putting my secret beauty filter on first and then KNF's CPL on top of that. And actually three things if you count the step up ring, but that's supposed to help it. So, you know, if I look at the sky, do you see any patterns or vignetting in an optical way? Because I tell you what, on the Sony 24105, if I even do it while I'm filming and switch to standard stabe, you can literally see the filter. But that's a hard vignette, I'm not talking about that. If you just escape it a little bit, and I thought the 77 to 82 would have fixed that, but the little 1.1 crop does the job. Well, I don't think you can see any optical vignetting, any dark shadows in the corners. So with my beauty filter and the CPL, this could be the new vlogging setup. Go on, run tell that to your favorite guy. The build quality of these filters is excellent too, with a lovely amount of friction when moving the front element. Head on over to the KNF website to get 10% off. Links down below. But these filters are already great value for money, and I can't see any other reason to buy something else. And also while you're there, check out the two-in-one filters too. 
a bit easier to manage the polarization effect I covered in this video, but with some minor disadvantages in that it's a bit bigger. So there's not much else to say about these filters. They're pretty bloody awesome. Like I was saying before, the ND2-32, it's a very versatile range. So if I was doing a wedding on the A7S III, which is what I'm filming on now, literally I could leave that on for like for the whole day, indoors, outdoors, and just remember to take it off at night. And I guess I could save the something like the ND8-128 to for polar bear, in the snow shot. All right, now to this little bad boy here, the CPL. I was very surprised by this. I could literally see in the viewfinder that it was a bit clearer and the image is sharper and whatnot than your, you know, variable ND. And that's to be expected, right? It's like a prime lens is clearer and sharper than a zoom lens. I think the same goes for this because there's two bits of glass to this one. And there's just one beautiful circular polarizer on this guy. It was comparable to the Tiffin, with the only main difference being maybe this is slightly warmer. So this is gonna be my new favorite CPL, I think. The Nano X. I don't know what Nano X means. If I was selling a filter though, I wouldn't wanna call anything X, you know, because it associates with the X pattern. But then maybe it's Nano as in, no, no, there's no X. Maybe it means that. Either way, this is seriously good. And there are links, affiliate links, down below for all of these three filters. The ND8-128, ND2-32, and the CPL. So, what are you doing already? Why haven't you clicked on it yet? But, yeah, I don't make any money out of these. Just thought I should let you know how good they are. So anyway, I think we have a winner here. The KNF CPL. Check it out. Affiliate links down below. Got a winner there. All right, see ya. So it looks like we've found our man.